<laughs> hey, how's it going everybody? It's your boy Ryan here, aka Blackbeard TCG. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day, and if not, hopefully I can make it a little bit better. Now look, in today's video, we will be talking about Doflamingo. We'll be talking about film Doflamingo, but before I get into all that, I want to ask you guys, are you guys interested in a pure Don Quixote Doflamingo OPO 4 build? Um, you know, obviously people are playing the film package and it is very, very strong as we will see as we go over it, the deck lists in this video and discuss it. Um, but I personally think that the pure version of the Don Quixote Pirates is also really good. I think it's just being slept on right now because film is the very obvious clear cut choice because it's something we know, it's something that's really good. Um, but again, as we see with all One Piece metas, week after week after week, it'll continue to develop. And I do think that the pure version is also very powerful. So let me know if you guys are interested in my thoughts on that and one of my uh, sample lists that I could share with you guys. With that being said though, I do want to talk about this because if you guys click the card in the top right, you guys will know that I've already discussed the deck breakdown for Don Quixote do Flamingo uh, Green and Purple. But now I want to go over the lists and what's happening in the meta over in Asia. So we got a couple different screenshots here. We have this one from Gamer Z, who we've covered on the channel before. Um, we have this one here as well from Wasa 10. We have two from Wasa 10, actually, these two here. So it's interesting to see these breakdowns of, of these lists. Obviously, the meta is still in its very, very early stages. It's not even a full week. We're coming on to a week of op04 but things are still being figured out and it's interesting to see that obviously whitebeard and zoro is still on this list and we take a look at this list too whitebeard is overwhelmingly at the top followed by ace and zoro and then of course we have doflamingo here taking a nice chunk of the pie as well um and then here we have zoro and ace with doflamingo taking a nice chunk of the pie now one of the takes that i am pretty wrong on so far from what i've been seeing is rebecca it looks like a lot of people are playing rebecca it looks like a lot of people are actually enjoying her and performing with her um it'll be interesting to see how that continues to shape up guess the builds that i was testing was just completely wrong which is completely fine by me i love to be wrong because there's so many things in this game and the more different the more variety of decks that we have to play the better so as you can see here it looks like zoro it looks like white beard it looks like ace is still being piloted a lot and in my opinion it's just what people are comfortable with it's what people know right whenever there's a new set it's very easy to just play the decks that are already good because or that you already know because they're still good they're not getting any worse and unless there's something that's very glaringly OP, they're going to be able to still perform. So that's why you see a lot of these numbers um, for these decks that are still really high. Now, here we take a look at our first list here. Um, the link to all the lists will be in the description below. This one is posted by Simple High. And we can take a look at this Don Quixote do Flamingo build. So it looks pretty standard with the film package. We see three copies of the seven cost Luffy with the four Zoro. We got four Brook, four Nami, of course. Um, I believe that's four Usopp. Yes, there's a little bit of light glare, glare. Four Usopp, two choppers, and then of course the three Bartos. In my opinion, Barto isn't a must, so don't feel like you guys need to get it. If you are looking into the future and looking to play this deck, or if you are looking to play the kid variants, um, it does help. There's situations where it's good, but I don't think it's an absolute must. So just a heads up on that. So that's the standard green film package. And then in terms of the of the um, purple stuff, uh, deciding to run Shiki, who is a 2K counter, um, is film as well. So already searchable off Fiesta as well as Nami. Um, obviously running the four copies of Fiesta as well, being a 2K counter, as well as a searcher. It's actually not bad playing the Fiesta if needed to search for another film combo piece if you don't already have it. I have been seeing some people do that. Um, so you could definitely do that. Um, in terms of the events though um you're not, not running any of the film um any of the film events running the punk hazards as well as spider web um and not running any paradise waterfall which is surprising to me for me i feel like paradise waterfall is a no-brainer um but this version of the build isn't running it and instead opting to run some copies of the five cost douglas bullet i believe that is as well as the five cost trafalgar law so this list is pretty interesting the next list that I want to show you guys here is also from Sipo High from the three on three tournament that performed and take a look at this list. So this list is running a little bit of a little bit more of the purple film rather than the green film. So we see here the standard um, um, 
Monkey D. Luffy, three copies of that. Uh, four copies of Brooke, four copies of Nami. This one decided to opt into four copies of Chopper um, for the 2K counters, of course. Four copies of uh, Fiesta, which is standard. And then we see um, Demonte. We have four copies of Demonte in this list. We also see four copies of Spiderweb, four copies of Punk Gibson. So it looks like those two events are kind of the standard events that you want to have. They're just very strong being able to play that on your opponent's turn, resting stuff and things like that. Restanding is always nice. So you're gonna have Spiderweb, you're gonna have Punk Gibson. This person deciding to play Thunder Bagua, which is interesting. I feel like Thunder Bagua is oh, like, it's a really, really good card. Of course, you are a four life leader. So being able to get to two life, which you're probably gonna get to really early and have this card be live is really nice. But I don't know, for me, I still feel like I like Blast Breath better, but I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of people play with Thunder Bagua. So I don't know, maybe this is the way for me. I like Blast Breath a little bit more, but that's just my opinion. Then when we look at the other cards as well, we see um, four copies of Yuta, which is um, pretty interesting as well. I've been seeing people playing this, the blocker version. I believe this is the one from the starter deck. We have uh, the vanilla three cost. Don't remember the name as well as the five cost 6,000 power card. Don't remember his name either, but I do know that he's the one that lets you draw um, by sending back Dawn. Um, which is really, really good because being able to add extra cards to your hand is really good in a film engine, as you would imagine, to get your film pieces. So this is an interesting take on the build. And then, of course, having 8-cost kid. We all know that 8-cost kid is strong. It's not as dominant as it was in OPO one but it is still a very strong card. And it will catch people off guard because you don't really see it all too often after OPO 3 And definitely in OPO 4 I, I, I don't know. I wonder if we'll start to see a lot more of it being splashed in now because only two copies here. Um, but this is also an interesting build. Let's take a look at one more. Uh, this one is coming from um, Chris... I can't pronounce that, but link will be in the description. I do apologize. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at this build of Doflamingo. So, um, performed really well with it, got into top cut with it as well. And this build, this build is more akin to what I kind of envision how I would be playing this. Um, having the Paradise Waterfalls, having the spider webs as, as well. Um, having access again to the thunder boggle I, I don't know I, I need to test it i don't want to like I, I can't speak on it because i haven't really tested it myself i tested blast breath and i really like it so I, I i assume that this would be really good but one thing that i like about this build is the three copies of our motto which is really really good because it allows you to keep your character alive makes it very strong um then you take a look at the rest of the package here you see um the three copies of luffy again you see four copies of nami you have the four copies of chopper you have four copies of fiesta as well and then you're running the other film cards instead of running the three cost vanilla you got the, the four cost here with a little bit more power so you're still going to be able to search with your nami that's the one thing that people need to remember is nami searches film right so you don't have to run the full green film package you could start running some of these purple film cards as well because they are pretty decent but the one thing that i like the most about this build is that it is running the 10 cost stun dofi this is what i like and i think that a lot more people are going to start implementing this as the weeks go on i think that this card is absolutely cracked i think this card is extremely strong and i'm so i'm really surprised that other versions aren't running this like for example this version that's running the two copies of the kid I mean, who am I to say? This guy won the event, right? Like, honestly, who am I to say? But the way I look at it is like, how much work did it really put in? Like, wouldn't you rather have that 10 cost Dofi and just be able to like stun your opponent out? Or maybe this kid is just really valuable in terms of, you know, making sure that you are constantly able to apply pressure by uh, pressure in terms of the defensive side of things. Um, but then also, you know, being able to have a card to bring out like your nami for free for example right so i don't know i don't know the, the mindset behind it but for me it's like huh i would probably just want to play dofi in this list um you know same thing here like i feel like ten cost dofi has a spot but i don't know again i haven't tested these versions of the build again the people performed on these versions of the build so if anything follow these lists and not my theory crafting um but again this person performed with three copies I think that Doflamingo is great. This is probably my favorite list out of all of them. I just wanted to share these lists with you guys. If you guys are curious, you want to test them out on the sim, you want to test them out on Tabletop Simulator. All I can say, guys, is Doflamingo is looking really strong. So these were the breakdowns of the decks. Funnily enough, I think that... Um, I think in this one, 
Queen actually took it all, by the way. I actually think Queen took the entire tournament. You know what? Let's just open it up here and check together. Live and direct. This is how you guys know this is not a post recording. This is a live recording. And yeah, take a look. This was the Queen list, guys. I'm telling you, I've been saying it. I've been saying it, Queen. All right, this is not a Queen video, though. You can see I already liked the video or like the like the tweet as well. Um, but hey, man, all I'm saying is Queen, don't worry. I got a video coming out for you guys tomorrow breaking down Queen, so stay tuned for that. Um, so yeah, funnily enough, Queen performed. Look at my boy Crocodile, too, man. Crocodile is on these lists. Look, Crocodile's chilling there, too. Hey, man, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, Cro hey, man. I, I'm not a bandwagoner. Your boy said it first. I you feel me? This was even before Opio 4 came out. You guys already know that. The real ones you guys know. But anyways, let's get serious. Back on topic. With all with everything being said, it looks like Doflamingo is going to be here to stay. It looks like Doflamingo is going to be very fun. I'm really excited to see how these builds continue to develop. Um, but more importantly, I'm really excited to kind of see more of the pure Don Quixote Pirates uh, builds. Um, I'm curious if you guys, again, if you guys are interested in it, let me know. I feel like it would be more fun. It would be more interesting just because it's a lot more newer tools. But again, at the end of the day, you know, when people are going to flagship events or people are trying to win prizing, you're obviously going to put yourself in the best position to succeed. And it looks like right now, Film Dofi is taking the cake. What are your guys' thoughts? Have you guys tried out Film Dofi? Do you guys think that it's still early days? Do you think that people are still just figuring things out? Um, do you guys think that this is the superior version? Let me know in the comment section below. As you guys know, I will be reading every single comment. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'm out. Peace.